So the Boruto time skip has officially been announced and as of right now the entire fandom is going crazy. In this video I'm going to explain what we know about the time skip and what can we expect from the time skip. Before we start make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and also follow my Twitter link in the description. Now let's move on. Now earlier this morning the Boruto time skip name got revealed along with Sarada's new time skip design. Now Boruto will no longer be called Naruto Next Generations but instead it's going to be called Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. Now I'm not gonna lie the name actually sounds fire. If you read the Minato one shot this name definitely has some meaning because this name goes along with the whole Uzumaki spiral thing. And if you read the Minato one shot the Rasengan is a direct representation of the Uzumaki. But what do the writers mean about 2 Blue Vortex? The 2 Blue Vortex could actually mean a lot of things. It could mean Boruto's two blue eyes. It could mean Naruto and Boruto. It could be about Boruto and Kaoki as Kaoki is pretending to be Boruto while Boruto is fighting to get his identity back. It could also be about Boruto and Himawari. Another thing people were saying was that it could be in reference to omnipotence as now the entire world is being sucked in by this vortex. Now if you use the google definition of vortex in a situation like term, you can see it says a dangerous or bad situation in which you become more and more involved and from which you cannot escape. My opinion it clearly sums up the entire situation with omnipotence and the entire Kaoki situation. Now the more Naruto got involved with Kaoki, he was basically stuck into a vortex he couldn't escape. And it literally came true as he's now stuck in a timeless dimension where he can't move. And with omnipotence, Boruto was basically sucked into a vortex against his will, which ended up with the entirety of the world hating it. For suppose Supposedly killing the great Naruto. Now, 2 Blue Vortex is definitely a better name than all the cringy fan made names, and I'm glad it's not just Boruto Part 2, and I'm glad they got rid of the Naruto Next Generations. Boruto can finally stand on its own two feet. Another thing that we got this morning was Sarada's official time skip design. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have a bunch of mixed opinions on this design, but I'm not gonna really judge it until I fully see it. From what we've seen with Sarada's design, we see that she got some new Chi earrings, and she's also wearing a choker now. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest, chat, Sarada is definitely giving me Itachi vibes as she is also seen putting on a black and red jacket. Now people are saying that it's Borto's jacket. Now I'm gonna say that it's actually a Borto inspired jacket just with the Uchiha crest. Now on Twitter I'm seeing a lot of people being outraged about Sarada's outfit. All I gotta say for that is just wait for the full design to come out. But from what we've seen so far I'm rocking with the design. It's not that bad. Just wish it could have been better. But the thing is you people were expecting Sarada to look like a Uchiha version of Tsunade. When Sarada is going to have her own unique design but yeah i say just wait until the full outfit gets released and the release date is august 20th so stay in tune but yeah moving on i'm definitely excited for the borto time skip we've been waiting seven years so yeah they better come out the gate swinging for the first chapter now according to abdul on twitter we got some info on the promotional page now the text reads people's memories have been changed and as for that borto is now in a situation where his life is targeted by the village of konoha what awaits them once he left the village along with Sasuke in the midst of adverse circumstances was... Now I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this promotional text but a lot of things could have happened when Sasuke and Boruto left the village. And I want to know what was awaiting them because a lot of characters could have been awaiting them such as Kashin Koji or Teneri. Well not even, those are just my guesses of what happened when they left the village. Now I wouldn't be surprised if it was Kashin Koji or Teneri that was helping Boruto and Sasuke. Because Boruto can learn a lot from either Kashin Koji or Teneri. But I highly doubt it would be Teneri since Teneri is sealed right now. Kashin Koji, we I actually don't know whatever happened to him and i would assume he's coming back for a vengeance against amato as amato literally sent kashin koji on a crash out mission to where he knew kashin koji was going to lose to ishiki either way so yeah a power trio of kashin koji sasuke and borto would actually be insane and think about how busted borto would be having sasuke and kashin koji on his side training him that would all be nice but here's my real guess on what's waiting for them and that is sarada sarada might actually go rogue with them well not exactly with them but Sarada might actually go down her own road. As with Sarada's design, we don't see her wearing the ninja headband. And we all know that Sarada is the biggest Konoha fanatic. But with Sarada's design, I'm really getting a dark aura with her. This is definitely not the same Sarada that we saw in part one. And don't be surprised if Sarada is on that savage level come the time skip. But the reason why Sarada wouldn't go with Sasuke is because one, Sasuke wouldn't allow it. And two, Sarada wants to find her own way on how to stop omnipotence. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens next month. That's 
just a theory I'm throwing out there personally. But yeah, with the whole Vortex and Spiral thing, definitely expect the Uzumaki clan to play a huge role. They really didn't play a huge role in Naruto. And then the Minato one shot, we got a little bit more information on them. So yeah, Kishimoto definitely didn't forget about them. Oh no, I'm really excited for the next stage for Boruto as we've been waiting seven long years for this moment. And the fact that we're so close to the events that happened in chapter one is actually so exciting, man. I can't wait. We also got the upcoming fights with all of our favorite characters such as Ko, Damon, Ada, Sarda, Sumire, Kaoki, Borto. There's gonna be a lot of eventful things that happen in this time skip. We'll finally see Amado's true intentions and we'll also see Code fail miserably. We'll probably see the strongest character in the verse in action in Shiba Osutsuki. And don't forget we'll also hear more Osutsuki lore. I'm not gonna lie, I'm mostly excited for the Osutsuki lore that we're gonna see in the time skip. And let's see if Kaoki's mission to kill every Osutsuki actually works but let me know what you guys think in the comments what do you guys think about the time skip what are you guys most excited for make sure you guys like comment subscribe and also follow my twitter link in the description and i'm out peace